So the idea of a counting arrangement is that we're going to try to find a number of different ways to arrange a set of things. So let's look at this set. We have one, two, and three. There are six ways to arrange this set into a three-digit number without using a number twice. And here are the arrangements. Each of these arrangements, we're going to call it a permutation. So in a permutation, order of the arrangement matters. That means that when I have arrangement 1, 2, 3, that's a different arrangement than 3, 2, 1. And later, you're going to learn some, something where order doesn't matter. And we're going to talk more about that later. So just remember right now, permutation, order matters. Also, in a permutation, you cannot use the same element twice. So here, if I already used the 1, I can't use a 1 again. And here is the formula that would help you determine the number of arrangements you have, number, number of permutations you have, depending on the number of things you're choosing from and the number of things you're choosing to make the arrangement. If you're unfamiliar with the exclamation mark notation, this is the factorial. You can go check out the factorial tutorial. So let's look at our previous example. We have uh, n equals 3 because we're choosing from three numbers, 1, 2, and 3. And number we're choosing r is also 3 because we have a three-digit number. So we're choosing three digit. It's important to not get n and r confused, and we're going to talk more about that later as well. So here we simply have a P33. So from there it's just plug and chuck. N is 3, R is 3. So we have 3 factorial divided by 0 factorial. So the answer is 6. And as you know from the tutorial, if you're not familiar, that 0 factorial is 1. So we're just dividing by 1 here. So to calculate the number of permutation, you have the formula, but a permutation problem can be easily done if you use the slot method instead. So let's look at the previous example again, three digit number and choosing from one, two, and three. So it's important to, to remember that we have three slots here because we are choosing three-digit number. So the number of slots is how many you are choosing, not how many you have to choose from. So in other words, R is number of slots you have. So now we're going to fill out the slots. The number on digit one, this three here, represents the number of elements that's permitted on this slot. So in this case, we have 3 because either 1, 2, or 3 can qualify for the first digit. So since this is a permutation, there can be no repeats. So there are only two elements permitted on digit 2 because whatever we used on the first digit, we can't use again. And by the same logic, only one digit left for digit 3. And now you just multiply across get your final answer, which is the same thing as what we got from the formula, 6. You remember from 1.4, you learned this multiplication principle. Well, slot actually works for multiplication principle as well. So let's look at the Happy Meal example with our three entrees, three drinks, and four toys. So I simply named the slots entree, drinks, and toys. And I just put the number of possibilities for each on the slots and multiply across to get my 36 for the answer. So there's a very special problem called the letter permutation problem. And this is a slightly simpler way to look at it. I'm not going to fully explain why 
and how it works like this. I'm just going to teach you how to solve the problem. If you want to know exactly how the, the, the solving of this problem come from, you can read the book on this section. But here I'm just going to teach you the trick on how to solve it. So let's consider the word infinite here. And we want to know how many eight letter arrangement can be formed from the letters of this word. First off, you're going to treat this as a normal eight slot permutation. So we're going to do eight factorial to get 40,320. So you don't end there because some of the letters are repeated. So we have to treat the repeat, we have to give the repeated letter a special treatment. So I is repeated three times here. So we're going to divide by the factorial of the number of letter, of the number of times a letter is repeated. I is repeated three times, so we divide it by three factorial. And then we do it again for another letter that is repeated. So N again is repeated, and it's repeated twice. So we do two factorial for the N. And if there was another repeated letter, we would do another factorial based on the number of times that letter is repeated. But there aren't any more for this for this particular example. So here we just simply divide, and now we just do the math. So we the answer come out to be three thousand three hundred sixty. Again, this simply teaches you how to do it. If you want to know why this works like this, you can go read the book on section two point two.